We're visiting Patty McBride, whose late husband Ken was the consummate collector. But I know enough about Patty to know that she's the consummate collector and enthusiast too. Let's find out more. So how did you meet Ken? I met Ken when I was a senior in high school through a girlfriend of mine. And we didn't hit it off at first. Um, I thought he was a little overbearing. And I can't imagine. <laughs> he was persistent. And in the house I grew up in, my parents didn't allow us to take phone calls on school nights. Uh, so my dad would answer the phone and Ken would call faithfully a couple times a week and my dad would say, no, I'm sorry. Finally, at the end of about a month, my dad said, would you please just go out with him so I don't have to talk to him anymore? And that's how it all started. And were cars a big factor for, for him? For, for Ken? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Ken, mm -hmm. when we met, he had a um, 66 Oldsmobile 442. And it was a car, I think it really belonged to his dad, but you know, Ken was assuming territory on that. Of course. And he had taken it down uh, to SIR, to the raceways, and outfitted it to race it. He won, um, let me think what it was called, M Stock Automatic, I think. Hmm. Yes, and right. he won, so he comes home. I didn't know him yet. I hear this story, this is maybe two months before we met. And he pulls the car up on the front lawn, and all his buddies are with him. He's got the big trophy on the hood, and all the guys have their headlights, you know, shining on him. He runs in, gets his parents up, you know, come out. His parents were livid, absolutely livid. He lost the car for a month. You know, it was maybe six months later that his dad gave him one of these, I really was proud of you. But at the time, he didn't know that. So yes, when I met Ken, he was heavily into cars. So do you remember first date, second date, was it all about cars on dates too, or did he try to make it look quite so obvious? First date was Easy Rider. Didn't like that movie either. He just kept reaffirming I wasn't sure I should be dating him. <laughs> and what changed your mind? His persistence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Turned out that you know he's a big-hearted guy. You just have to get through that gruff exterior. The, the um, I keep getting back to cars because it's really about Ken mm -hmm. and his mm -hmm. and his cars. And uh, do you remember some of the cars that he and you drove as you? kind of started progressing through life? Okay, the first classic that I remember, we had just gotten married, and he bought a 39 Cadillac convertible, and I think that thing had like 135 or 137 inch wheelbase. The thing mm. was enormous, and it was a two-door car. Um, and I thought he had lost his mind. You know, honestly, this thing couldn't even fit in our garage. And he had all his buddies coming to help us. Uh, they had to get the chassis in. Um, and he had his buddies showing up, and they had weight belts on, and they'd oiled up their bodies and done all this stuff. And they couldn't, you know, they were two on each end. Finally, they had to go three on one end, and my husband did the rest of it on his own on, on the other end. That was the only way they could get it into the garage. Did you guys have <laughs> rules about what, how many cars he could Oh, never. Nobody could buy. Never. No, so he could. Never. No. Oh. He just had such a passion for it, and it was fun to join in, because as um, a young girl, um, my dad, military, he, he, very practical guy. He was a pilot, so a car was just something that got you from point A to point B. That was it. So when I met Ken, it was a whole new world. I didn't realize that they could be this much fun, you know, and all the things that are associated with it. Well, let's talk about some of those, mm -hmm. some of the events that you like to go to and mm -hmm. what you did. Okay, so um, obviously Pebble Beach would, would be the big one. Um, I have a great story about Pebble Beach. This one, um, Ken and I had been married about, oh, I don't know, seven years, and we just had our first child so he's an infant. I don't remember exactly how old he would have been, maybe 10 months. And we were going to go down to Pebble Beach for the first time. And while we were there, we were in awe because we'd never seen it before. And it is such a stunning setting. And the cars are just so beautiful. So we um, are with friends. And as we're there, it comes up in conversation 
um, that there is somebody there that has a 540K um, for sale. And through an intermediary for the rest of the four or five days we were there, my husband is asking questions and this seller is answering questions, but we weren't meeting with each other. And I guess finally, it seemed like this was a go, so we all met on the last day and we ended up buying this 540K. And had you seen the car? It <clears throat> wasn't even there. Wow. Wasn't even there. Mm. And Ken and I got on the plane on the way home and said, what in heaven's name have we done? We paid more for that car than we did for our house. And I knew then that was it. The car hobby was gonna run our lives. That was gonna be the deal.